okay to correct some false teaching and lies that you've been told while sitting in church or even watching movies, um, reading books? Moses, chosen by God, given the Ten Commandments, most of the laws are based on that today. Even your constitution in America is, some of it is based on the Ten Commandments. Moses, born in Africa, raised by Africans. Moses was a Hebrew, an Israelite, and a black man. All Hebrews were black. He married a woman from Ethiopia, and his sister Miriam didn't like this. She didn't like it because Ethiopians had a different culture to them. So she was talking bad about Moses marrying out of his race. So God was listening to this. And God said, Miriam, Aaron, who the one she was gossiping to, and Moses, please come to the temple steps. I have some things I want to speak to you about. So they were on the temple steps and he said, Miriam, you have been talking about your brother Moses, slandering that he's marrying outside of his culture. That is a sin. He said, so for your punishment, I'm going to strike you with leprosy and whiteness. So she was struck to become a white leper. Now, you can read all this for yourself. The whole story is in Numbers 12, starting at verse 1. So then Moses saw this and he he said, please, God, you know, she's my sister. She probably didn't mean to talk about me like this. Please, I beg you, restore her back. I don't want my sister to be a leper. So God, he loved Moses. So he said, Moses, if she was talking bad and your father found out and spat in her face for seven days, she would be ashamed and have to stand outside the house. So for seven days then, she will become a white leper. Then after seven days, I will restore her. But do not forget this lesson. So this you can read for yourself. So next to racism, which is a very dark thing in people's hearts, is jealousy and envy. And be very careful because what the, the Bible says about envy is, and you can read it, Proverbs 14.30. It rots your bones. I put that on my heart. And he was asking about the Khazarians. The Khazarians. Are but before we get there, before we get there, we can talk about um, why was they called the Khazarians. Okay. Because Khazar or Khazaria is where Russia is today, okay. or where Ukraine is today. Mm. Ukraine is a new name. Mm. Between Russia and Ukraine, you've got the Caucasus Mountain. Yeah. That's near the Black Sea. Mm. Near the Black Sea, the Khazarian Kingdom was from the 15, 13th to 15th century to convert to. They didn't want to convert to Islam. Okay. And they didn't want to convert to Catholicism. What do you call the Catholic movement? Catholicism. Yeah, Catholicism. I don't know how to pronounce that. So the, what they did was convert the whole nation mm. to Judaism. Right. The Khazarian king mm. decided to convert his own, his, all his people, mm. not to Christian in terms of Catholic mm. and not to Muslim. Mm. So he decided to convert to Judaism. Do you know if Judaism at this time was also considered Abrahamic? In terms it was for us. Mm. At that time it wasn't a religion, it was a culture. Right. Like you'd have your tribe. Yeah. So Judaism at that time for ancient Hebrews mm. that saw themselves as Hebrews, didn't see themselves as Jews. But yes. if you saw yourself as Jews, J is a new letter. Mm. It would Yahuda. Okay, yeah. So J is a new letter. So if you saw yourself as Jew, it would be 350 years ago. Okay. But if you saw yourself as Yahuda, mm. meaning from the tribe of Yahuda, mm. Y is older. Yes. So Y is about six to a thousand years old. Mm. So those people that are calling themselves Jude 
or Judah now. Yeah. Did not call themselves Jews or Judah six to a thousand years ago because yeah. there was no J. Yeah. So it was Y, Yahuda, mm. the tribe of Yahuda. Yeah. So Jew is a new thing. Right. There was there's no such thing as as a Jew. Mm. There is something called Hebrew mm. Israelites. Right. How can I describe that? A Hebrew mm. is someone that have crossed over one place right. to the next. So the first Hebrew came from Syria or Assyria mm. to Jordan and then into Egypt. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and the word Israelites, mm. meaning you are the descendants of Jacob. Mm. The, 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 today, Jews are not those that crossed over. Mm. And today, Jews are not those that is descended right. from uh, Jacob. Mm. So who were and is those ancient people? Right. The Khazarian converted mm. for a good reason. Yeah. And I don't blame them for that. Mm. Because if you been persecuted on both sides, then you You're need to yeah. survive. Everyone is thinking about their survival. Yeah. And how do you survive mm. and create? And you can survive and create by starting something new. Yeah. And something that is um we do call it vibrant. Yeah. And respected. And respected mm. at that time. Mm. And it still is today because anyone that say you're a Jew today, mm. which is a new word. From a new place and it's a new time. Yeah. Anyone that say they are Jew today, whether you're American, you're British, you're black or white, you've been like you've been inaugurated mm -hmm. in a different club. Yeah. But you and I don't know that that and those mm -hmm. that say they are Jews are not mm -hmm. in terms okay. of revelation. There is gonna be a people that say they are Jews, mm -hmm. but they are not. Mm -hmm. Go back and check the book. It's not me saying. Mm. There's going to be a, a people that say they're Jews mm. saying it. Mm. You understand me? So if you go back and check Revelation, it tells you that this time, there's going to be such a time as this. Yeah. But the remnants, the remnants of those that was taken in, a way to call it, um, um, the times of... Uh, when Alexander, the so-called great, invaded, right. there was a people called the Maccabean. Mm. Those were Hebrew Israelites. So those Maccabean run to the hills. Right. right. So when they run to the hills, while those Jews have been, and, and, and our Hebrew Israelites have been slaughtered and taken into slavery and other things, mm. those Maccabeans run to the hills. To the hills from Israel today is towards Africa. Yeah. So we went into what you call East and West and North Africa. Not so much South, but East and West. Alexander II, this would have been just over 100 years ago. Alexander the so-called Great. The first. Who was not okay. great. Yeah, he yeah, was not terrible. Great Because he himself had himself been buried, mm. asked to be put with both his hands mm. outside the, the coffin. Yeah. So that he would explain that he came with nothing. Right. And he's also leaving with nothing. Mm. You understand me? So those people that was his generals. Mm. Was the one that took over Egypt. And most of the Mediterranean at mm. the time. Yeah. Because they were moving with him. But he wanted to show that he came with nothing. Mm. And as great as he was, he also lived with nothing. Mm. So he was one and only person that was buried with the, his hand outstretched. Okay. I have nothing. Mm. Came with nothing and live with nothing. Yeah. He wanted to make himself an example so that those that came after him do not do what no, he, he was doing. Yeah. But it didn't take effect. They mm. escalated. And the wickedness did not subs subside. It actually was amplified was amplified mm. and perpetuated against those native people mm. like yeah. us yeah. that's been around for more than a million years. Mm. We've been around before dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after doing a dinosaur level, we're still here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those other people that is here now, it's been here 
in terms of my understanding, mm. 25,000 years. Mm. Us, that is here, mm. with them, it's been how around. Do you, how do you weigh out who's been here first? It's immeasurable. Yeah. That's why we've not been exploring because we've been here a long time. The explorers or newcomers. Yeah. What is black? Yeah, 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 black is a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. uh, black magic. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are beings we are in a space among others. Yeah, but we've been here a long time, mm. spiritually, mentally, and physically. Yeah, so we just sharing. Race this. is a very modern concept. Isn't it's it? the Germans yeah. are to be blamed, and I'm saying they try to play reparations to subsidize for the damage they have done yeah they can't be undone if you kill six million jews and you pay them reparation i understand that is as a good thing yeah mm. kudos to you but if you kill 600 million mm. how can there's no comparison no. where is our reparation mm. what do you give us to replace mentally physically and other Ali Kali. Yeah, there are generational cr right. crises created. Right, for us to get back to where we were. To where we were. We can't get back. Yeah. It's us need to come back to ourselves. Yeah. Come back to each other. Yeah. Start to recognize that we are one. Mm. Someone divided us mm. in terms of tribalism and other type of ism. Someone divided us to, let, to, to inform us that we are separate. Yeah. But that's the, their rule, divide and conquer. Yes, and they say it um, actually blatantly. Mm. But we also perpetuated it yeah. against each other. Because you internalize commit, it. Yes, and commit atrocities mm. against each other. Look at the war in um, Rwanda. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Tutsis, the Tutsis. Are against the, the others. Yeah. And go to South Sudan and other places where people are fighting even to live. Yeah. To be the way, ruling tribe mm. in Uganda I was just there coming back yeah, recently. And I went. So those people that is from the Buganda is also ancient Hebrews. Right. Those people from the Atrolis or Luos is also ancient Hebrews. Okay. So these are one people fighting. The, the same Nyankole. Yeah. Is all show from the ancient Hebrews. Okay. Then you go to Ghana, the Ashantes mm. is also from the ancient Hebrews. Okay. You go to Nigeria, the Ibos. That's why they, that's where they get the name Hebrew. Yeah. Ibo. The Ibo. Igbo. Yeah. Is also from the ancient Hebrews. So it's originally black. Movement. You've been moving around. On the continent, yeah, you go down to South Africa, mm. the Limbas. Right. There's a tribe called the Limbas. Mm. It's also Asian Hebrews. Those are from the tribe of priests. Mm, okay. Those are what you call Levites. Right. The Asian Hebrews. You come back around, and you come to what you call North Africa, mm. where they have all the Muslim today. You find ancient Hebrews. So we have been going around the continent yeah. for a long time, hidden in tribal identity. Yeah. But the most prolific is those that was taken. Right. Guess who was taken? Those who are the Levites, mm. who is a priest, mm. taken to Haiti. Yeah. And other parts of the Caribbean. Yeah. The Judites Marcus. or the Yahudites. Yeah. Been taken to the Caribbean, Jamaica and other place. And the Benjamites. Mm. The Benjamites is also is is he is the same mother and father. Benjamin and Judah is from the same wife. Mm. So what happened is that actual person had four wives. Right. And from those four wives, he, were, he produces the 12 tribe. But it's not 12, it's 13. Okay. But they don't mention the 13 tribe because she was a lady. And this is where I don't understand or, or I do not get Judaism or Hebrewism. Right. 
And that's why I do not subscribe to those type of religious movements because they demonize the female. Yeah. Because after the 12 tribes are doing, within that 12 tribe, there's a 13th tribe. Yeah. Because he also have a daughter. Yeah. Who's called Dinah. Yeah. Which is the 13th tribe. So it's not 12 tribes. So don't, that one, that was, he is someone that is a Judaic religion. Present day yeah. in Israel. But he's telling the story that he's actually not. Okay. They converted later. Right. So those ancient Hebrews is us. Stolen ones. Mm. That's been taken to different places. Okay. Like for me personally, I know who I am. Yeah. I am a Benjamite. Mm. That's been taken from ancient Israel. Or Yah Israel. Mm. Because there was no... So it was why. Yeah. He was taken to... What you call the Middle East today? There was no Middle East at that time. Mm, just North East Africa. Right. There yeah. was not East. What is Middle East of where? Yeah, yeah, of the the West. middle of the East. <laughs> middle East is given the name Middle East because the English was going yeah. to China. Mm. And this was the middle point. So there was the middle. There was in the middle of the East. Yeah. And that's because they're going towards, towards China. So this mm. name is not relevant. Yeah. There's no mid if you are in the Middle East, you're in the middle of the East of who? Mm. Or whom? Yeah. Or where? Yeah, yeah. No. You're in North Eastern Africa. Those Middle East people need to know that. Also those people that control where they call Egypt today. Mm. The place they call Egypt today is yeah. all Middle Eastern people mm. or not Eastern people. But those are not the ancient Hebrew. Israelites yeah. or those are not the ancient Kemetians yeah, yeah, yeah. is not the ancient occupier of mm. the land. These are new people. Yeah. And that's why they don't preserve what is there. Mm. It's not mm. valuable to them. Mm. You understand me? Yes. They will take away from the pyramid to use it to make a mass. Mm. I'm not saying nothing wrong with that, but yeah, preserve. Yeah. If it's yours and it's your culture, you will preserve it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But when, we, but when we go there as Caribbean people, stolen people, and um, American people, they recognize us. Yeah. They know which tribe you're from. Mm. They know where you was taken from. It's true. Because what happened when the invasion came mm. and, and, and Egypt has been invaded several times yeah. by different people, mm. by Syria and other places. But when invasion come mm. and you have the thing they call the disperse. Yes. Mm -hmm. When the disperse happen, us, that is ancient Hebrew mm. or ancient Kemetics, Kemetian, we went into different parts of the world. Mm. Because why would you want to be taken as a POW? <laughs> why won't you run yeah. to somewhere safer? Yeah. So we was running, but what happened mm. is our brothers mm. and sister where we run to, yes. and we thought we were secure. They, they knew who we were. Mm. So when the European came and they're looking for slaves, and, they, and um, we had a call cheap labor. So, so we was the first to be given up. Given up. Yeah. So not that I'm saying the Africans is not my brother. Or not my sister. Mm. We know we're one people. Yeah. But they knew what they were doing when they conspired mm. with the European. Yeah. To sell their brothers and sisters. And they benefited. Yeah. In a short term. Mm. I'm sure they regret now. Yeah. They, they, because they, the material benefits didn't last for long. Because those same European came back. Mm. And they also took them. Right. The Igbo. Was taken the Yoruba was come they came back and they took right. a lot of people mm. so they also the Ashantis was also all Jamaica mm. right now in the place they call um Maroon Town right. those are all Ashantis that was taken okay. from from um, Ghana and different parts of West Africa mm. yeah so we know that even though it's conspired. Mm. 
we also pay the brunt yeah. of the extortion because yeah. those people do not want to pay. No. They're unfair people. Mm. You're thinking you're doing a good deal with these people and you pay or supply good yeah. supplies, but they don't want to pay. No. So they will come, come back later and, and take your sons and take your daughter. Yeah. The king of Congo at that time wrote a letter to the Spanish crown that his kingdom is been wait actually depopulated yeah. by the level of kidnapping that was happening. Okay. So he was not happy. Mm. So even though he converted to Christianity, he was he could see that what was happening in his nation or his country or his um, kingdom was not right. Mm. His kingdom was being depopulated by the level of kidnapping that was happening. Okay. And he wrote, so he was speaking in Sp Spanish at the time. Right. He wrote in Sp to the Spanish crown to say that this thing is gone to extreme level. Yes, yeah, too much. You need to stop this thing. Mm. So... There is also a fight back. Yeah. But at that time, they were not in a position to fight back. It was too late. Mm. The Congolese, the Congolese, and this is on record. Right. The Congolese gave. Right. Is this before or after King Leopold? No, way before Leopold. Okay. In, in, in the transatlantic slavery time. Okay. The Congolese gave five slaves for an umbrella. What? The Congolese king of the kingdom of Congo mm. gave to the European Spanish crown wow. five slaves for an umbrella. That's I give you another an example. The same Congolese, that's why some people cannot stop suffer. Mm. Congo is having this problem because it's generational. Yeah. The king of the Congolese or the Congolese king holding the crown at the time, yeah. wearing skins and whatever he's wearing, gave to the crown three slaves for a mirror. Mm. Three slaves for a mirror. So that is eight slaves, one, five for an umbrella and three for a mirror. Yeah. Come now. Let um, us sit down. That's why you are very much of me. And I disagree with 90% of what the man says. But I agree with him the last time I was listening. He said, those guys that is in skin. Yeah. That say they are kings and chiefs. Sit down and enjoy in while our people being sold yeah, yeah, yeah. into slavery. That's exactly and he will happened. not allow it no more. Yeah, yeah. I'm not political. This is not political, but it's something that I, as a Caribbean or Jamaican person, would acknowledge that he make policies yeah. so that when we come in to visit, we don't feel like visitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with my Jamaican passport, if I go to Uganda, mm. and this is one of the countries of 54 that I can testify, if I get up today with my Jamaican passport and I go to Uganda, mm. You do not pay for visa. That yeah. means sixty pound that they charge for others. Mm -hmm. You do Shouldn't not pay, you, yeah. and you do not get an expiry date. Right. When you pay, when you go with your British passport or other passport, you get thirty, mm -hmm. three months, which is ninety days. Yeah. When I travel with my Jamaica passport, I get a thing called entry. Okay. There is no expiry date. Right. And when I leave, I get a something called en exit. Right. Which is no expiry date. So it's something that I acknowledge yeah. that this individual president mm. have done for those stolen people that he knew was stolen. Yes. And when they're coming back, they should feel like they're coming home. home. Yes, yes, no, yes. I've not been to Rwanda. I've gone through there, yeah. but not been in the country. I've been all over East Africa. Yeah. This is an East African visa. Mm. That means you could go to Kenya. Mm. You could go to Tanzania. Mm. You could stay in Uganda. Eritrea, for... Ethiopia. No, mm. those are the three that signed up at that time. But Somalia? No, 
just three. Okay. So three East African country is permanent member at that time. I don't know about now. Okay. At that time, which is seven years ago, to the East African community, okay. which is Uganda. Yeah. Kenya and Tanzania. Right. So when you get one visa to go to one, or you get an entry to one, you have an entry to do three. Okay. To go right. to South Sudan and other parts or Rwanda, I don't know. Mm. But I know that you entry into Uganda. Yeah. You also have entry to Tanzania. Yeah. And to Kenya. Right. Because it's an East African mm. visa or as if East African entry. Right. Yeah. But those are the arrests. Now what is I see the Republic um the, 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 the um Democratic Republic of Congo mm. is a part of the Union, but I don't know the policy. Right. So I'm just talking about when I travel mm, and yes. what happened when I travel. Perhaps hundreds of millions of people with this identity right now of being from the people of Israel. Does that mean they were from the ten tribes? Likely not. We were taught by the historians and within our own traditions that when the Romans conquered Judea a few hundred years after that the tribes of Israel went into exile, perhaps millions of Judeans were sold into slavery, into Africa, into Rome, deep into Africa. And if you look now, you're seeing people who are most likely the descendants of those slaves who kept true. I'd like to bring up a few specific examples, because they're going to be game changers. One of them wrote letters to Israel when it became a state. And they said, we're, uh, we're Israelites out in Africa. You know, everyone laughed at them and they said, African Israelites, these people are just trying to jump on the first world country bandwagon. They're living in a third world country, they got nothing. We're coming to Israel, we got innovation, technology. So they're trying to get on this train because there's such a thing called the right of return. All descendants of the Jewish people from around the world were able to move to Israel. So they, they said we were also. And everyone kind of laughed at them, like I said. And a few people took it serious and went out there and started studying them, learned about their culture. And a professor from Duke University went out there and did DNA testing on them. And it showed not only did they share Semitic genes from people who were in Yemen and back to the Middle East, these gentlemen, a large percent of them, have the Y chromosome to be Kohanim, to be priests. Now, if anyone who doesn't know, a priest is a specific family clan of the nation of Israel who come from Aaron, the brother of Moses, who was the first priest. And anyone descended from Aaron just has the, the, the status title priest. And we found that these men in this village in South Africa called Lemba, L-E-M-B-A, carry this genetic marker to let us know that they share the same as from the Svartic and the Ashkenaz and, and the population of the people in Israel today, they share the same exact DNA marker. That's mind-blowing. So everyone kind of got humbled a little bit, who, who laughed at them and said, now, now, now what? Now what do we do about this? This could have tremendous implications. Another area in Africa you have uh, something big happening is in Nigeria. You have the Igbo people, or Igbo, pronounced either way. There's 40 million of them, also Christians, like I spoke about before, how that could happen to the children of Israel very easily. But also a lot of them are now coming out and converting back or adopting the, the rules of the Torah without all the paganism that they've been practicing for hundreds of years. There's been books written about it from scholars in Nigeria, from scholars from the Jewish people. And where it gets interesting is, in America, there was a slave trade. And a lot of the slaves, a very high percentage of them, came from Western Nigerian ports. And in America today, you see a, a very large movement of African Americans who say that they're the real chosen people, that they're the children of Israel, they're the Judeans. You know, so what, are they just trying to create a, an identity for themselves because they were slaves, or is there really something here? And the answer is, most likely there is something there. And most likely, maybe that they were the original Israelites, and maybe that the Jewish people today who are white, Caucasian people, um, came in a little bit later on. We know that some of the greatest sages of the transmission of the Torah were converts from Rome. You have a man named Uncleus who 
who wrote a commentary on the Torah, unprecedented, that we still learn today, he was a convert. Some of the largest pillars on the transmission today were Roman converts. So here we are, we're, you know, I'm speaking, we're ca Caucasian Jewish people, and now you have people in Africa saying that they're the real people of Israel. It can't be ruled out at all. We know they were sold into slavery. We know now that they're fulfilling prophecies by saying, we're coming back, we want to rejoin.